Hello, it's a great pleasure and honor to talk about light adjustable and modular IOL technology. Here are my financial disclosures. Why adjustable IOL technology? Well, we still have a certain amount of patients with deviation from target refraction, which is especially important in multifocal IOL te lens technologies. And we have an increasing number of post character refractive eyes, for example. For le well, let's first start about uh, talking about multi-component IOLs. One of them is the so-called Harmony um, lens that um, comes with a basic lens, is, which is implanted into the bag, and then the optic is implanted into this basic lens that could be a toric lens or multifocal lens or even monofocal lens. So it can accommodate and can easily be exchanged, for example. And the second one is the Prissy side lens that's also basic um, lens design and then the optic the second part is implanted into this basic um, design you can see here in this animation that both the basic optic as well as the optic is implanted into the back and then OVD is injected in this interface facilitating IOL exchange and the last one is the Juvin from LensGen. It comes as a modular IOL and the fluid lens then is implanted into this modular IOL and at accommodation the forces are transduced, transduced to the modular IOL and this which is attached to the fluid lens that contains silicone oil and is expected to change its anterior curvature giving accommodation. So this lens it consists of a dual optic silicone IOL system with low anterior and posterior capsule opacification is stable and um, exchange is facilitated. Future options include monofocal, monofocal toric, drug delivery or biometric sensors like uh, IOP sensors. So all these multi-component adjustable IOLs offer greater flexibilities, um, additional options like sensors, drugs, depth of focus, and are a very interesting option in increased chance of greater refractive change like pediatric cataract, progressive cornea pathology, or the use of tamponades in vitreoretinous surgery. Still, information of the stability after opening posterior capsule is lacking. And the second option is the light adjustable lens technologies, which is available as a three-piece foldable silicone IOL with a 6 mm optic, 30 mm overall diameter comes from 10 to 30 diopters with a UV protection and a sub 2.7 mm in injection with an improved LDD device in ergonomics and UV irradiance. It allows earlier um, post implant adjustments, less lock ins, um, a 3 diopter correction for myopia, hypoopia, and uh, an expanded range of astigmatism of from 0.5 to 3 diopters treating astigmatism. Potential drawbacks are time investment, follow-up treatments, and pupil dilation requirements. All of them are, of course, solvable. The new presbyopia solutions are um, individually adjustable, mini monovision, uh, new ADOF profiles, and the individual induction of negative acericity. Here in a prospective multi-central European trial, we were able, even using partial coherence interferometry and latest uh, IOL calculation formulas in the 20 over 20 or better group, you can see an, uh, after in adjustment an increase from 33 to 73% um, uncorrected distance virtual acuity in this group. And the European trial results were slightly better than the LAL PMMA, PMA trials. But down the road, we have seen so many um, new technologies coming in and going out. Long-term safety, where we now have 12 years of experience. This is my first patient operated in 2008. Still uh, extremely happy with uh, uncorrected distance visual acuity of 20 over 20 and 0.63 at near. So in conclusion, multi-component technologies are very promising new options. Uh, are interesting for specific indications. Uh, the light adjustable and new IOL technology is safe and efficient, offers great options to improve refractive outcome for advanced patient care with a great number and high number of patient, satisfied patients. Thank you so much for your attention.